Lay to the area outside, right? And this rig is nice because it's bright and it shows. <coughs> okay. The jet is located inside this plug. The plug is actually at the bottom of the fuel bowl in the carburetor. Right. So if you ever have uh, water in the gas or other contaminants that you want to drain out, after you clean the tank and the fuel lines, you need to drain the carburetor bowl. Right. In the worst case scenario, you'll have to take the carburetor. That's the main jet. Yeah, that's right. to get to the main jet. In the worst case scenario, you have to take the carburetor apart. Deep socket, you could use regular socket too, but this is what we have handy. 14 millimeter, you said? 14 millimeter, or if you have domestic sizes, 916 also works. Just crack it loose, already the fuel is starting to come out. And only the fuel in the fuel bowl will come out at this time. It's not going to empty the gas tank, but. Okay, here's the seal that seals the plug against the carburetor. And here is the plug along with the main jet. Oh, let me see, yeah. Okay. Let me to explain what, okay, why, the purpose of us doing this. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the main jet out of this plug, right? It's incorporated into this, uh, uh, plug is threaded in, so we're going to just use the vise to hold it. Alright, now the plug is being held and now the jet can be taken out. Try and use a screwdriver that's big enough for that slot. It has to fit in that slot, not loosely, but nice and snug. And I'm trying to turn it, there it goes, it broke loose, you heard the click. And now we can unthread it. And here is the main jet. You look through it, you may see daylight. I'm not sure if the angle of the yep. camera is allowing oh, yeah. that. Good. And what you need to do is find a drill bit that fits nice and snug in there, or loosely just to clean it out, right? And then find the size that fits correct, all right? The manual shows that the main jet in this carburetor, that hole should be 11.75 millimeter, main jet size. And we want to clean this up because uh, yes. over time, like it's stuff is sitting in there, it gets corrosion, and yeah, if a car has been, if a motor's been sitting for years, yes, if it's been allowed to dry out at any time, you get oxidation in there, it actually makes that hole a little bit smaller, right? What were these called again? This is a pin vise, it actually holds the small, the bits. small drill bit, all right? No motor, just hold it, serves as a handle, so it gives you a little bit of leverage so you can easily turn through, right? I put a lot, even more crud, I don't know if you saw it in that video. See, there's more yep. stuff coming out. All right, and this is the plug that holds it. And after you clean it out, make sure you use carburetor cleaner to blow out any uh, um, contaminants that uh, you have in there, or residue that you just loosened up. Clean it out, blow it out with compressed air, blow the plug out too because it needs to sit in a nice clean plug. And what I'm going to do is start it by hand. All right, it's now started, but of course, trying to tighten it like this would be difficult. You know, I could snug it, but putting it in a vise is the easiest way. Some people actually use a wrench on the bench and they lay the head of the uh, plug in there if they don't have a big vise. <coughs> vise. All right, I snugged it up nice and tight, and now it's ready to be reinstalled in the engine. Do need to put a fiber seal on here so that the gas doesn't leak out of the bottom of the fuel bowl. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm using an oversized drill bit. It's a half a size larger than the factory um, jet hole, all right, that 117.5. Some uh, exhaust header people or extractor people suggest that you do this because the engine breathes differently with the exhaust wide open with the uh, especially off-road use and stuff like that. But you see how easy it just went in there? All it did was clear out a little bit of uh, um, the brass material and make that hole a slight amount bigger. Now I am using the plug to hold the jet so that 
it um, was easier to clean, but I'm now going to take it out and clean the little passageway inside here, uh, blow it out with carburetor cleaner, and then blow it out with compressed air, and then reassemble. Okay, you couldn't see that, it'd be hard to even measure it, but it is slightly larger now, this hole. Very slight, slight amount larger. <laughs> okay, you always want to put the nozzle, the straw from the carburetor cleaner in there and push the trigger. I've already cleaned it, so I'm not going to do it again, but also in here, and then compress there into all of the holes, make sure any loose material is removed and then reassemble. If the gasket is excessively flattened because of use or time, get a new one. All right, and I'm going to thread it into the base of the carburetor. Make sure you don't cross thread it. Always start threads by hand. And once I'm able to run it in all the way till the gasket is seated, now I'll put the wrench back on it. And you just want to snug it up. All right? You didn't see me pull hard on that wrench. You don't want to crush that seal, that uh, fiber seal. Now I can remove the rags. And don't let these things lay around your shop because they are a fire hazard. They have gasoline in them. So take them outside, let them dry out and dispose of properly. And now what we're going to do is when we crank the car, the fuel pump will put fuel into the fuel bowl. The level will uh, be regulated by the needle valve inside the top of the carburetor. And hopefully it'll run much better. Perfect. Ready? Go ahead.